idea behind this was, yeah, like we said before, to provide solutions to everyone, uh, whether they be professionals, educators, it's the best solution possible so that they can iterate and they can produce the products they need, the prototypes, or final use parts. Um, from the prior side, what we decided to really focus on was number one, reliability, and which has emphasized all the testing that we've done in the past um, while now. The number of data was 380,000 hours, and it's, so that's very accurate. We've involved very, very many of those 100,000 hours. Um, and the whole idea was to make sure that um, the product, that each product that our customers get, um, reliable. Um, you don't have to worry about fidgeting, you don't want to worry about you know adjusting little things here and there. It works out of the box, it prints, it prints nicely, reliability, and it's easy to use as a whole. Um, what we did um, from the component level is uh, I'll get someone from, from our fifth gen system that was introduced a um, couple years ago. Uh, what we did with the Z stage was completely change the whole thing over. Um, construction wise, material wise, um, we changed some much uh, stiffer materials, number one. Um, much easier to assemble for our, on our side, much easier reliability on um, the user side. Um, and there's also a thing itself. Um, although glass plate was very nice with the flatness, um, blue tape was, I guess, somewhat nice in some ways. Um, but having a stiff plate, you can't remove prints easily. What the new prints allow you to do is you can bend. And when you bend, I mean, you can really bend. And the ability to bend like this, you can take off large prints, hard prints, and it's a much more reliable. Also, what we're doing with the new system is we're leveling at the factory, so you don't have to use your level. That was a huge frustration or pain point with users in the past. Um, and getting away with, you know, getting doing away with that as much as possible um, allows for a better user experience. Um, you can actually level this build plate if your user wants to finally tune things, um, a professional user or something like that. But the main point is that you can print right out of the box, check it out, set up on a desk, you print, and you'll print something. You don't have to fiddle or anything like that. Um, along with the new build surface that was mentioned before, um, the removal of prints is significantly easier. Um, you don't have to rely on chipping away little pieces of wrap, which is Huge pain point also. Um, also, you don't use sharp objects, things like that in the classroom or professional sets also. So, the new wraps um, with the bending build plates and the new print surface um, allow you to really pull the entire print off really nicely, um, including the wraps, so you don't have to, you know, whatever it's cool. Um, also, in addition, we improved gantry system significantly. The old replicator fifth gen gantry in the bottom. Um, our new Replicator Pitchen Plus on the top, um, using new materials, um, more advanced techniques, um, and just using and leveraging our expertise and later motion and also strats and expertise and later motion systems. And motion systems. And motion systems. Um, we've been able to redesign, able to redesign the gantry um, to be signal stiffer, easier to manufacture, less parts, um, and at the same time, you could feel it. Um, one of the key things in the H gantry was racking, which is the unbalanced forces in the H gantry. And what's it called? Right? Back and forth. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.